Chapter 12, A Traitor Amongst Us. The prisoner stands accused of the most heinous crimes. Sir Galahad has betrayed our ancient trust. More than this, he has conspired with godless rebels. Adding to his litany of evil, he has presumed to take the life of our esteemed Chamberlain, Lord Hastings. Sir Galahad is a base traitor, a man without honor or scruple. I ask the Council to impose the supreme penalty. I beg the Council's indulgence. Let us not forget Sir Galahad's service to this order over the centuries. Perhaps our brother Knight can be saved. And once more put onto the righteous path. The Knight Commander shows too much leniency. The proof against the traitor is irrefutable. I saw Sir Galahad in the company of the rebel leader. I was too far away to hear them clearly, but they seemed on familiar terms. They were leaving an establishment known to harbor <coughs> rebels. Sir so Galahad sought an audience with the Lord Chancellor and me. He hurled a number of senseless accusations at the United India Company and seemed intent on finding Lord Hastings. Bring in Lord Hastings. Lord Hastings, you have identified the prisoner as your assailant? Sir Galahad infiltrated our headquarters late night, accompanied by the rebel leader and her followers. I could not be sure that the man I was following was Sir Galahad until... I found his coat. Discarded near the rebel hideout. As his commander, I tried to dissuade him from pursuing his allegations. It is now clear he did not heed my advice. They incapacitated several of my guards and entered my chambers, intent on killing me. Well, only because you're a we vampire. Found Lord Hastings wounded by the prisoner's hand. He must stand condemned. You By don't understand. He's a vampire. Honored knights, how do you find for the prisoner? Guilty. 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 The sentence is death. And now we go back to the prologue of the game. Closer. 
surrender yourself. No one may escape the penalty. You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Well, it's a good thing Nicola found me. The 22nd day of November. Two days. It has already been two days. We cannot leave him here like this. I have done what I can. It is not for me to protect him now. I will call upon him if he lives through this ordeal. Friend, you must stay with us. Sir Galahad! Sir Galahad! The 26th day of November. Here, Lady Lakshmi. You were right to bring me here, Nicola. There's not much more I can do. All of London is looking for him. So they are. We will take care of him. Time will tell if he will make it through. Ah, jeez. I do not have a choice. If I am gone too long, they will suspect something. What if they already know? You have helped enough. Let us handle matters from now on. There is so much for me to do, Lady Lakshmi. Please, take care of him. I fear that without him, we do not stand a chance. Am I finally waking up? Talk about being out for weeks. Will he wake up just in time for Christmas? Well, actually... Well, Knight, you're not one to give up so easily. Where am I? You're at a safe house on the embankment. You've been in and out of consciousness for almost a fortnight. Uh, like I said, we must make two weeks. To Whitechapel. The authorities are searching for you everywhere. How did you find me? You must thank Nicola. He brought you here and sought my help. Nicola. How do you know Nicola? I will let him explain his involvement in our affairs. Nicola left you these. He thought you would appreciate them.
You got my black water back. Come, let's go. Lakshmi, the black water. How did you come about it? It was bestowed on me. You mean to say, a knight? Sabors de Ganes. Sabors has not been seen since the search for the Grail. You say he lives in East India. I did not say he. Oh wait, lived wait! Him. Almost forgot to grab that collectible over here. Oh, I thought it was an audio log. I'd say that was effective. Yes, choke on your own intestines over there. Take that ammo. White Chapel is this way. Lady Agrain, there is evidence of a few people having been here. Sir Galahad must have had help. Get word to the council that we have tracked the convict. Tell every able knight to converge towards Whitechapel. Yes, my lady. Be my witness. I will see to the end of the rebellion. Uh, now you're on. 
Now you're on a revenge quest too. Everyone! See, hey. I wasn't the only one. Now! We need to leave. It is only a matter of time until the authorities raid Whitechapel and make prisoners of every man and woman. Salvage what you can and go. I have unfinished business at the palace. Have you lost your senses? The palace is the last place you should show yourself. I have to get Nicola out of there. I owe him that much. Alistair knows you. He'll expect you to come. I know. Then we will go together. No. This is a fight that I must see through alone. If I live to see tomorrow, I shall find you. So be it, Knight. Do you not know? I am a knight no longer. A knight you are not, monsieur. But are you a turncoat or a patriot? What would you have me be, Marquis? I believe you have reason for what you do. Two revolutions have taught Lafayette that there are dangers on both sides. I will not forget this, Marquis. See that you do not, Monsieur. Should you threaten the cause of liberty, you can count on Lafayette to be your sworn enemy. Adieu, Monsieur. Until we meet again. That we will, my friend. Leaving us so soon. Debbie. So you do remember my name. There is much I should explain to you. And I should have trusted you long ago. There's no time for pleasantries. It seems you are eager to get yourself killed. I must make this right, whatever the cost. Then take this. Why, thank you. Oh, and do come back in one piece. It seems my queen is taking a liking to you. Stay safe out there. We must save Tesla. Nicola, come in. I'm in the catacombs, on my way to you. Sir Galahad, are you mad? You must not come this way. Stay put. I'll be there shortly.
Let's reinvestigate. Damn. Keep him back. Fire! Damn, I didn't see the shotgunner. I couldn't fall back in time. Going down, you shotgun and whore. Sir Galahad, we may have a complication. Sir Lucan is on his way. Nicola, you need to get out of there now. There is nothing to fear, my friend. I will keep communication open on my side. You'll be all right. Nicola, don't be a fool! Nicola! Damn! Zagalad! Stand down! Never! I will gladly take that arc gun. You won't be alive long enough to move in.
You back off. That, oh, that was a nice jaw-breaking experience for you. What a bloodbath. Just the man I wanted to see. Oh, how may I help you, Sir Lucan? Come with me. We have much to discuss. Yes, sir. Damn you, Alistair. Nicola, what happened? Lady Lakshmi was right. He knew. I'll get you out of here. Uh, Come on. He's still in there. Uh, uh, it's too late. There's nothing we can do. There's still something I must do. Where are you? 
I knew you would return, brother. Come out of the shadows, damn you! You and I, we are not that different. I do what I must to protect my kind. We fight only for our right to live. That's a lie! One day, perhaps, you will understand. Forgive me, Grayson. This is not the outcome I sought. I'll tell you what I've had enough. I've lived too long to not know this day would come. Why, Alistair? You have forced us outside all these years. I've seen things I am condemned to remember. Civilizations born and destroyed by humanity's incessant greed. The pride of men <coughs> slaughtering each other. In the name of their so-called God, we will atone for our sins in time. But how can you justify the atrocities your kind have committed? My kind... My kind are no more evil than yours. What of your sister? 
And your father? Was it all a lie? You see, my father... <coughs> I loved them as my own blood. But they cannot begin to know the curse I have lived with. My son. Father. Forgive me. It is I who needs your forgiveness. I never meant this life for you. You knew. I have always known. I rescued him from the massacre of his family. Your father died by my sword. But a child? You didn't deserve such a fate. How could I have taken the life of an innocent? Confess this to the Council, Lord Chancellor. It is the only way to make amends for the havoc that has been unleashed. I cannot! The revelation would shake our order to its very foundations. So I am to be sacrificed. How many more must die to ensure an eternal silence? He is my son. I cannot be the one to end his life. Isabeau and the Council must never discover the truth, lest all you hold dear perish. Do not ask this of me. Henceforth, you shall have fellowship with no knights. The Order must remain united. You are no longer one of its heralds. Finish what you have begun and vanish! Men were never meant to live this life. There shall come a day when all our burdens will end, brother. <laughs> Maybe then we shall know true peace. Alright, well that was the Order 1886.
Sir Galahad. The whole of London is looking for you. We mustn't delay. A night no more. Sir Galahad, can you hear me? Sir Galahad. Be at ease, Nicola. All is fine. So you say, my friend. The council has declared martial law throughout the city. There is no telling when the authorities will decide to mount an offensive. Now is not the time for heroics. I would advise we follow Lady Lakshmi's lead and leave the city. I'll join you shortly. And don't you know, I'm Galahad, no more. Alright, well that was the Order 1886.